live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. We got some movie news here. Casey Jones. <laughs> Not in the movie. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. This is a rumor yeah. that made its way around the internet uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, thanks to at TN underscore Kenny. I guess that's Tennessee Kenny. Uh, for messaging ab- uh, this about, um, for that's messaging the, us about this. <sighs> um, yeah, we, we, we know. Um, All right, you ready? You ready for this? Because I predicted Vernon. I predicted Vernon. Yeah. I'm. I know I'm correctly predicting Fishface turning into Toka. Mm-hmm. You ready for my next big prediction? Mm-hmm. Casey Jones is going to show up after Raphael falls in love with April. Megan Fox decides to mutate himself into a human because he's a pretty good-looking human that plays him, and then he's going to mutate into Casey Jones. Watch it be what happens. And you guys are just going to do the face palm in the movie theater and just go, God damn it, Darby. Mm, that's a little too far fetched now. I that's disagree. Pretty far-fetched. Don't put it past Michael Bay. No, I wouldn't. I, yeah, no, that's that's too much. That's just too okay. much. That's that's asking right. for it. That's asking okay. for it. I, I just don't think right. that Kevin Eastman would have put his stamp of approval if that was the case. Okay. Now, we. And let's see if I can find the audio. I'm going to. Go back and insert it right here. Please, please, uh-huh. a moment to reflect. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> ah. From episode 15 of the Turtle Power podcast, all the way from June 14th, 2013. What it appears to be is that this is going to be a live action version of the 87 animated series. I- so, does that mean. We don't have a Casey. I don't think we. I don't think we have a Casey. I, I don't think we do. We should, but we. I don't think. I don't think we will. No. Because I mean, if you if you think about it, the first four Disney movie, uh, Disney <laughs> Turtle movies, one of them didn't have a Casey. He was too violent, so right. they took him out of the second one. But the original script did have. Uh, he was the main Casey. character, right? So, or maybe that's who. Uh, uh, yeah, they no, dude. Too, what? There is, huh? there is. We have nothing for Casey right now. We have no. We have, we have, we have no Casey. And you I sure don't about th- that? I'm gonna say right now. I don't think Casey's gonna be in the movie. I don't think so. Maybe they're saving it. Maybe they're doing such a good job hiding something. No. Maybe Shia LaBeouf is. Maybe Shia LaBeouf is busy. <laughs> oh God. No. Listen. He I'm hasn't been in right any now, new movies lately. He's <laughs> he's uh, there's not going to be a Casey, and there's maybe that's different... who William Finchner is playing. Yeah, right. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, uh, no, no. There's not been a single well, actor I mean, identified in the '87 as Casey. series. He he talked like he was, you know, Clint Eastwood. But Finchner's kind of a there, weird. He was dude. in that '87 series for like what three episodes? That was so, it. He was hardly in that 87 series. 
unfortunately, but yeah. Because he was too violent for it. <clears throat> I mean, the, everybody knew Casey because of the action figure in the original movie. Nobody knew Casey because of the animated series. Well, they knew him because of the comics. Well, sure, if they read yeah. the comics. If they read the comics, the, right. the Mirage comics. Right. I don't even... He, I don't even think he was hardly in the uh, the uh, Turtle Adventure, the Archie series. I don't mm-hmm. even think he was hardly in that, if at all. So, I'm thinking no Casey. Which we'll is, is quite the change from the original script, from the, um, the leaked script. So. Maybe that's who Whoopi Goldberg's playing. No, no, she's Dude. confirmed. She's confirmed. <laughs> Let it go. Um, it's it's. <laughs> we talked about this on this show. Yeah, that uh, Casey Jones. Uh, I mean, months ago, where we we talked about this about Casey Jones not being in the movie yeah, and Vernon so, getting a bigger role. Seriously, yes. Who cares about Vernon? Nobody. Nobody cared about Vernon in the original series, no. in the cartoon series. Nobody cares about Vernon now. No. They think Will Except Arnett's going to make you care about him. Because it's Will Arnett. That's Here, exactly here's, right. here's the thing. They are still – they still kind of have the issue where it, it kind of makes me feel like the Turtles are still going to kind of be that, that Transformers-type role. Secondary characters to their own movie. Yeah. Where, because if you think back to the original animated series, which is what we've said over and over that this movie is going to be. It's going to be a live action movie version of the original animated series. That's why it has Vernon. Okay. Vernon's never been anything else. Um, Vernon and, 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 uh, (laughs) burn Bernadette Thompson. Um, those two characters are only in the original animated series. That's why they're in this movie. Um, now, the, 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 here's here's the thing. Uh, in the original animated series, there were no like male, like the turtles were the main characters, right? Right. There was right. no uh, male counterpart to April, really. Nope. Casey Jones showed up for two episodes. Was a Clint Eastwood knockoff. Yeah. And that was it. And Vern was more of like a like a like a sniveling, sniveling weasel. Weasel character, right? Yeah. The turtles were the heroes of that mo- of that animated show. You know, every time. There was there well, you know, in well, April kind of had more of like a more of a women, role. women right, empowerment exactly. feminist role in there where she had she to be an independent woman feminist. living on her own. You know, didn't she need... wasn't feminist. She never did anything on her own without calling the turtles in. She had massive hey, breasts. No, and that's a not tiny true leg. because she was always out there trying to get the story. She did. She was not scared of anything. She would always be out there trying to get the the scoop, right? But now, like that's not allowed. Like you've got to have a male and, and counterpart. Was the exact opposite. You've got to have a male counterpart now. So they go to the animated series and they see what they've got and they go, well, I guess we're doing Vernon. Cause even though Casey Jones got. was a much better choice. Yeah. Sure. But 2003 Casey Jones. So, but that, that, but that doesn't matter. That's not the movie they're making. They're making, I would, I would have taken a little more Clint Eastwood to Casey Jones in this series. than yeah, than what's given to us. It's good. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> Never takes his mask off throughout the entire movie. Nope. The By final the way, scene is just a sex scene between him and April where he doesn't take his mask off. Oh, jeez. Oh, let's get oh, that feels good. Wait, wait Irma. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that feels and, good. And Vernon watching on the sidelines. You're breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you need to be punished. Can we do like an out of context episode and just take everything Darby says? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh absolutely. I've saved so much of that. Absolutely. Wait till I bust out my EA Sports voice, man. That that thing is. Apparently, I just found out I have it. So you know, whatever. <sighs> so I'm not doing uh, it now. I gotta save it for later. 
so even though this this just made its way around the net, we've we've uh, this is pretty much exactly what we've expected. Um, <laughs> Aren't we? Isn't that what we're known for? Like we just predict the future. That's well, what we, we do. We know. And I just predicted the future the for where Casey Jones is going to show up in the movie. You're wrong though on that one. I'm sorry. Okay. It's, it's, All right. I, I like your like the creativity and, and and your thought process and how much you think Michael Bay sucks. I just don't think that's going to happen. It's just, right. it's just not. It's just not. I don't. I don't see that. I don't see that happening. All right. That would be quite a twist, though. It would be. It what a twist. <laughs> Listen to your scuzz bucket. <laughs> um, so uh, besides, besides the Casey Jones uh, or lack of Casey Jones. Uh, rumor Jones. that made its way around the net. Um, I guess something with it was, is a little bit more interesting. Um, some leaked concept art. Um, yes. Some supposed oh. leaked concept art made its way around. So not happy with Shredder. Or Schrader. And, or uh, Eric Reich. Whatever his name is now. Turtle fans out there, um, uh, you've probably seen this already. Uh, these were originally posted on the Technodrome forums. Uh the home for some of the most uh, in-depth turtle talk that there is anywhere. Oh, so much more in-depth than us. On the Technodrome yep. forums. Uh, we plug the Technodrome forum. Plug us. Just saying. Oh, yeah. No, they, hey, they, they, they've you been around a long time, back. and we they know what they're yours. doing. Right? <laughs> I can hear you. Well, just talk, just talk like that from now on. You're so much more entertaining when you talk like that. <laughs> I can actually yeah, stand to listen to you when you talk like that. <laughs> you do, Alex. <laughs> so we've got a, a supposed uh, concept art of, of both Leonardo and Shredder. Um, let's talk about Leonardo first. We do uh, have to? Awesome shoulder pads. Do we? <laughs> um, the shoulder pads. It's well, awful. It's it, just awful. It, it it's looks, from the 80s indeed with those shoulder pads of his. <laughs> no, it, it reminds me a little bit of Turtles 3. Sure. Samurai. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Definitely get it with the uh, the the arm pads. Um, and those the, awesome, awesome shoulder pads. It's, 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 like, it's like a spacey samurai is what it is. Mm. It's, it's kind of like a cross, <sighs> and I'm not a big fan. <laughs> A yeah. spacey samurai. What does that even mean? <laughs> hey, this is what you wanted, Alex. <laughs> this is what I wanted. This is my nightmare and my dream all at the same time. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not a fan if that's the case, but you know, concept art. It's hard to really determine. This doesn't look like it would be concept art for the movie. It's way too cartoonish. Cartoonish, right? Exactly. Mm. Um, for it to be concept art for the movie, I think. So I, I, I don't know that. Oh, it's, remember, oh, we just Shredder's said, got uh, a pretty bitch and skull face on his mask. Re- remember what we just said though that this movie is the live Crap. action version of that original animated series. So <laughs> right, yeah, they might be going for that look. They might be going they, for something. They that's could. A bit more yeah, I guess looking. they could. They did I guess have they could. MRI toys, and Raphael was a spaceman. They do have turtle nostrils on Leo. They do. They have do. Turtle, hashtag turtle nostrils. Are we doing this again? Hashtag, hashtag turtle nostrils. Turtle nostrils. <laughs> Are you doing the entire episode like this? Like the rest you of the episode? You told me to. <laughs> you said, can you just do the rest of the episode like this? I said, okay. Uh, this is... <laughs> This is like doing that extra beer run because we think it's a good idea, and we buy like twenty four, like two twenty four packs. There's only like two people. Let's just go. Let's just get it. Let's just go. <laughs> just get it over with. Um, All right, uh, let, Schrader or Shredder? Let's go to Schrader. On. Which, yeah. by the way, Eric Sachs, Schrader. Um, okay. Let's think of the Helmets. most American name. Let's, we let's do the helmet and the shoulder of. pads look. Very reminiscent of the original uh, movies, I would say. Yeah, yeah, in the helmet as well. Yeah, except yeah. that mask. Yeah. What is with that mask? And the face is the face is horrible. It's it's 
That's I, where the alien concept is really coming in. I don't mind ass. it because I don't I think uh, I don't mind it. I think it's so creepy. It is and creepy. I, I don't mind it. I mean, he's got 64 teeth in just his mouth right there. I think I counted it right. Like, it, <laughs> like it's just, it, it, it's, it's pretty creepy. Crap. I like it. I like it. I, I don't mind mm. the way Shredder's look is. Um, I, I, I was more a little bit more, a little more disappointed with the, uh, with the turtles look. Because, I mean, if you're going to go that cartoonish with the turtles, you can't go there with, with the Shredder. That mm. face mask is really cartoonish, though. Uh, it's pretty freaking it's, cartoonish. I guess if it's anime, sure. I'm just saying that thing is horrible. That whole like teeth. Nah, I'm not a big fan. You know what's going to end up happening is he's going <laughs> to put that mask on. And I swear to God, the mask teeth mouth is going to move when he talks. Why did I even talk, man? Dar- <laughs> you, you, you see what you've done. I see what, see what I've done. done. I see the error in my ways. This is <laughs> too little, too late. Realized it way too late. Uh, it's all your fault. I feel like I'm in like this this lost episode of like '80s high school. Like <laughs> the lack of quality at the end of this show is your fault because you asked for this. <laughs> Ryan is just face palming the crap out of himself right now. Oh, yeah. I gotta edit this crap later. God help me. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, should I go back to normal voice? I think so. Yes, please. Uh, All right, normal voice. So anyway, yeah, you know what's gonna end up happening is he's gonna put that that shred head metal mouth mask on. And it's going to end up talking. Like, it's going to move. You think so? Mm. Hey, Michael Bay. There's no limit to how much he sucks. Why would it have teeth? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just supposed to be uh, intimidating. It's not intimidating at all. (laughs) I mean, really, it's kind of stupid. It's it's cartoonish. Like you're saying, Leo looks cartoonish with his hashtag turtle nostrils, but it's – so does he. So does Shredder. I don't think he looks Shredder. as cartoonish as, as, as Leo though. Uh, well, it looks, maybe, maybe it's because of the concept art that I'm looking cartoonish. at though. The maybe mask. it's because of the concept art that we're looking at though. Yeah. I mean we're only, we're only looking at you know two potential leaked pieces of concept art. Which we don't really know whether or not they're legitimate or not. No, but we don't. it's uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I, I think I wonder. I wonder if Leo's um <clears throat> shoulder pads are going to be made out of like Papa John's pizza boxes. <laughs> oh, no, it's got to be Pizza Hut. You it's got to be Pizza Hut because they've yeah. already got it all in you there. Can't right, have right? competing. You, oh, yeah, pizza, can't hut, pizza Hut boxes. You know, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. <laughs> His shoulder pads are going to be made out of those little tiny tables that hold the pizza box up from hitting the cheese. Oh, if their armor. Brilliant. If their armor is made out of anything that relates to product placement, I'm walking out. I'm just walking out. I'm done. Oh, you kidding me? Where else would they get armor? I mean, it's the sewers. They'd have to go to like a trash area or something, you know, to get. Well, that's, all- that, that's it. it Maybe maybe the aluminum from the trash cans. They, they can do something with that. There you go. Well, like you said, you know, we don't I do that voice my dog. He doesn't react at all. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know Shit. if this is Ow. legitimate or not. I, I really hope. I mean, this is really crude concept art for Leo. Well, it's it's Michael Bay. It's my answer for everything that sucks with the movie. Do you notice the weird like in the middle of the bandana, like right above the the hashtag turtle nostrils? There's like some sort of weird like. It's almost like he had glasses that he had to like tape together. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I was looking at that, yeah, and what's up with I that? like I like the idea of the tattered, the tattered bandana though. You see how it's kind of ripped on the uh, on the side yeah. there. And yeah, I like that. Um, I don't mind that. Yeah, it's like Raph's Raph shell in the new um, yeah. turtle series. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind that so much. Um, but um, the shoulder pads, I'm not a huge fan of. The bamboo chest plate, I'm not a fan of. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean. I don't know. 
I don't I don't like the whole um, space samurai look for the lack of a better and, ooh, I guess term. I should mention this does not flow with the rest of what we know of as this being an anim, you know the movie version of the animated well, series One thing we do know that is confirmed is we do know who is going to be scoring, who's going to be composing the music for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, man, when you said scoring involving a movie with Michael Bay and um, and April O'Neil, man, I, I, Megan Fox, I thought something completely different. Wow. <laughs> so uh, his name is Brian Tyler. And, yes. Uh, He's pretty famous. Yeah. He's, he's actually done a lot of really good stuff, too. Mm -hmm. It makes me quite happy. Like, I looked at some of the stuff that he's done, and it totally fits in with the mood that I think would go good with the Ninja Turtles. With a Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Expendables, Expendables yeah. 2. Well, we, can, we can leave the Expendables out of there. But, um, yeah, it's... He's going to be doing Godzilla 2014. Fast and he's doing the Expendables 3 as well. But that's, that's, uh, that's it's like, look, check out this resume. Expendables 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's right. He's been doing I, pretty much since uh, Tokyo Drift. He's done every Fast and Furious. Yes. Yeah. He did Final uh, Destination like forever ago. Um, the Final Destination, not Final Destination, no, but the Final me. Destination. Yeah, he's definitely um, made a, quite the name for himself. Yes. Alien vs. So. Predator Requiem. Yep. No, no, got no. A movie. You, you'll know him from the from a movie that's in the theaters right now, Thor The Dark World. Uh, yeah, I said that already. Yep. Oh, did you? Oh, whatever, man. I, I don't to I was to have the show. Booyakasha! You say so. That's cool. Maybe if I talked like this, you'd actually hear what I'd say. He <laughs> um, did Thor the done, Dark World. He's done a little what bit of television. Done? He's done uh, Hawaii Five-0. He's done yep. uh, Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, video games, he's done uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um Need for Speed, The Run, uh, Far Cry 3. Uh, a really good one that's a little underrated Black that Flag. I've actually watched is Constantine. I don't know if you guys have watched that with Keanu Reeves. But, oh, okay. Um, yeah. The movie the movie itself is not all that great. But if you listen to the, to the actual music, it is amazing. Hmm. It is amazing. Uh, I think he did a great job with that. Um, so, yeah. And, um, yeah, just did... Um, Assassin's Creed, uh, excuse me, Assassin's Creed 4, <laughs> like five. So. Uh, uh, he did Assassin's Creed, okay. So uh, that's <laughs> okay. good. Uh, um, that's looking up for me, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I mean, that one was of one of the great things, things about uh, TMNT was the uh, the great uh, soundtrack. So. Yeah. Um, he's, he's got a lot to live up to. I mean, TMNT. The, the Turtle movies, historically, all, have always put together at least a, a really solid soundtrack. I mean, the music that revolves, that surrounds the Turtles itself, uh, I think is always pretty good. Go Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Most notably, Go Ninja. Absolutely. Go Ninja. Yeah. Keep going, Ninja. <laughs> Keep it going. I don't know if I can talk to him like this. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is difficult. Um, all right. So uh, that's going to wrap up our movie news. And We uh, have the news. <laughs> have movie the news. news. And let's move in uh, to mutated messages. Oh, this is a new segment. Mutated <laughs> messages. Uh, so, Here we're uh, watching the NFL on Fox. I'd like to uh, just invite all of our listeners to check out our our Twitter page. Uh, check out one of our listeners, uh, Larry uh, Killian. He's uh, at Bookworm Painter. 
Uh, Bookworm he's, painter. He's got some terrific uh, uh, artwork that he's doing. Um, he's working on some uh, some figurines uh, that he's uh, been painting. He got one in, I think he's at Italy, um, that he's uh, going to be painting up. So um, really, uh, really cool stuff. And uh, <laughs> hilarious uh, photo that he sent us uh, of what he thought the, the next Shredder should look like uh, for the next movie. So That uh, that Shredder I would not object to. Wait, and I wouldn't be surprised, first of all. I would not object to that Shredder. It, it would I don't be, know who that was, but I would not object to that being the next Shredder. Yeah, so. Um, we had our, uh, our listener, Josh Denton. Uh, he uh, messaged us and uh, said that the... Uh, he got the TMNT lair. Um, uh, it's a, a little flimsy in spots, but mostly awesome. And um, he agrees, though, it wouldn't hold up to a lot of kids uh, playing with it for very long. And, right. Uh, he said a uh, great podcast again, too. So, um, And uh, we just got a few more tweets just uh, not too long ago, didn't we? Oh, we had a, we, he, he, uh, he had a question. On uh, on our uh, Twitter page today. Oh, he did. Yes. Which was, um, if you had to pick a director for the new movie, who would you go and w- who would you go with and why? Uh, Joss Whedon. And who's that from? That's Book from uh, Larry Book Killian. Oh, okay. Uh, Book Good. Josh Whedon. S- why? Mm, okay. Avengers. That's all I need to say. But there's other stuff that he's done too. Firefly, Buffy, Angel, all those things. Like he's. You know, and Buffy and Angel have actually continued on in comic book form. So he's not exactly a stranger to doing TVs or media based with comics. But Avengers, right there. Come on. Okay. Done. Josh Whedon, hands down. I could easily see him doing a really good movie with the Turtles with sort of a darker edge to it like Angel or Buffy had. Right. But, like, still almost kind of being kid-friendly at the same time. Right. So Josh Whedon. Easy. What about you guys? Um, for me, it's 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 a very difficult question. I can tell you one thing: not Michael Bay, um, for <laughs> sure. Um, we we know Christopher Christopher Nolan done great things with Dark Knight. Um, uh, I, Kevin yeah. Smith, uh, his, I feel oh, like he man. would really be really really true to the series itself, and he would be uh, incredibly accurate. I think he would have fun with it. Um, I think the turtles would be giant potheads if Kevin Smith got a hold of them. It would be a little lower, but maybe, maybe. Eating I don't... so much pizza. Maybe. I'm talking. I think. I think a step above. Um, no, uh, he, he wouldn't. He, or something. Uh, He's too much know. of a comic person to like ruin the characters. Like, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. Um, you know, there, there's there's a couple other ones. Um, uh, Robert Zemeckis. Uh, you know, Back to the Future. I, I think he, he could have fun with it, too. I, I think it might be a little too crazy. What about James Cameron? I don't know if that's going too far that, back. I don't think that's in their budget to get James Cameron. But James Cameron would be pretty freaking sweet. That would be good. I think James Cameron would be too epic for the Turtles. I you mean, think so? Oh, I know so. God, yeah. it'd be way too epic. It'd be, it'd be like a $500 million movie. <laughs> you know, and it's just... He'd be like, you know what? No, okay, I am going to make the Turtles aliens. I'm going to make the Turtles aliens, and they're going to be from Pandora, okay? <laughs> Where there are these blue creatures walking around. In fact, you know what? It's Avatar 3. Like, that's what will happen if James Cameron gets a hold of it. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. It's a difficult one for me. To I'm really... waiting for Ryan. I'm waiting for a particular director, I'm, and I'm waiting for Ryan to say it because I think Ryan's going to say Does it. He, maybe J.J. <laughs> That, that's what I'm expecting Ryan to say right there. No, no. Go ahead, Ryan. No, I, I wouldn't say. I, and I'm, I'm kind of upset that... Um, that I would think that? No, that uh, I didn't think of uh, Alex's first two, because I think those both would be great. Which ones? Zemeckis? What was it? Oh, Nolan? Yeah, Nolan or uh, Kevin Smith. I think both of those would be terrific. Um, but, I think uh, Nolan would be better than Smith. But... Um, one um, that's a little different uh, that I would say would be uh, Dave Filoni from the Clone Wars. Mm. Um, 
I knew uh, it was going to be Star Wars related with you. Yeah. Well, I mean, there were there were petitions online to get him to direct the new Star Wars movies. Um, obviously, didn't work out. They went with JJ. You know, I don't think anybody's upset about that. And besides, Floney's now running the um, Star Wars Rebels television show. So, um, I've just I've seen what he can do, and uh, you know, starting all the way back from with uh, Avatar, the animated show, the original animated uh, mm-hmm. av- Avatar. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's incredibly smart, and he he knows how to take care of a franchise. So. Uh, he would be my pick. Yeah, fair that's enough. Good that's a really good that's question. Good reason. That's that's one of the one of one of the same reasons that I think uh, Nolan or, or Smith. I think they would take care of the franchise. They would they would baby it. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You know, and, and here's the thing: Kevin Smith has had a great, uh, a large amount of cult comedy, to, uh, cult hits. I don't think he's he's really gotten the shot that he deserves, though. For a movie. He's had opportunities to do like big budget movies and they failed like miserably. Such as Jersey Girl. Who? Jersey Girl. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but that, that's that's not that's not really that his movie bag, he did with though. Bruce that's Willis. Not... The movie he did with Bruce Willis, which Cop name out. escapes me right now. Cop out. Thank you. Cop out. Cop out was See? a great movie. Uh, it didn't do so at the box office, and yeah, it was so that's... bad I completely forgot the name of the yeah. movie. Jersey Girl, Jersey Girl. Okay, so imagine imagine Kevin Smith actually doing movies that fit Kevin Smith. Okay, that, that that were actually part of his culture. And I think this would be part of his culture. Yeah, no, I don't think absolutely. Jersey Girl's part of his culture. Cop out's definitely not part of his culture. He's admitted that many a times on his uh on his uh, his stand up acts. Uh, or you know, I mean, even on his tours, it's just like he knows Cop Out was a, a awful mistake. It was not a good idea. Um, but I think if 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 you if if you let Kevin Smith be Kevin Smith, especially with with a um, with 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 a franchise like Turtles, I think he could really just just become that 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 franchise become yeah. that series. I think he can, man. I don't, I don't think guess. you're going to see Pothead Turtles, like you said. I don't think you're going to see that. You're not going to see a Jay and Silent Michelangelo. You're not going to see that. It's Never gonna know. Be, eh, it's going to be – I agree with Ryan in the fact that he's going to take it a little more seriously because he's such a comic book fanatic and he's he's – he appreciates the work that these guys have put into that, into their comics and into, into the franchise, into the, into the history of whatever it is he's doing that he's going to, he's going to take it a a step further and he's going to really truly appreciate and keep the fans in mind too. That's one, one of the things about Kevin Smith is he really, really um, takes into account the fans perspective with everything he does. Absolutely. Absolutely. So listen, I've talked to the guy. Yeah. Oh shut <laughs> up! Oh, no, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. And you myself. were giving me crap. I'm sorry. Show. I, I could not help myself. It, it, it was a softball. He tossed it up. I uh, granted, I just sounded like I was slobbing a whole bunch of Kevin Smith. Sh- you know. I really hope he's not listening to this episode right now. I really hope he is. I feel like he would appreciate it. Right, Kevin? Kevin? Oh yeah. No, he definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely would. But uh, Kevin's my hero. He, he he just proves that overweight, middle aged men can make it in the world. Absolutely. Thank you, Kevin. Absolutely. And how about we do some quick fires here? Uh, we got uh, a couple of tweets uh, from from Jessica Martin. That's uh, at Jess E. Uh, with underscores between the S, the E, and the K, 333. Um, and uh, another one from uh, Michelle Frolich, that's at, at Michelle Lee Ann. Um, uh, both enjoyed the, the Fallout Boy um, float this year uh, for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade up there in New York. We got a couple uh, more tweets from 
Rochelle Norland, at Rochelle Norland, and Maria Kutsilis, uh I'm sorry if I uh, screwed up your last name, Maria. Uh, that's uh, she's at girlygeek underscore uh, thirteen. Both of which were uh, providing uh, Corey Feldman some praise on his awesome job of uh, of playing uh, <laughs> slash or uh, as Maria said, uh, Spike slash slash. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, uh, of course, Don Tell in the original TMNT movie. Uh, Maria also tweeted us um, to say that uh, she's been seeing a lot of um, a lot of hating uh, going on on the new uh, movie um, in a in a group that she's in on Facebook, the uh, the uh, TMNT fan club uh, Facebook group, and uh, you know, hey, you got to keep an open mind. Um, you got to keep an open mind on on what what we're gonna see. Uh, of course, that's what we're trying to do here at the Turtle Power Podcast. Um, you know, we'll see what we get in, in August. Uh, Jacob Harmon, uh, at Jake Harms, uh, sent us a tweet. Uh, this is fantastic. He sent us a tweet of a picture of a Nick Turtles Chia pet that he found. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, I need to find one of these pronto. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we, we tweeted that picture out as well. Uh, the sewer den, uh, at the sewer den, um, sent us a tweet and asked, um, so they don't even own a Blu-ray player, but people are always asking any word on the Blu-ray releases. Now we haven't heard anything here. Um, and, uh, I, I, as far as, as I'm concerned, I don't think we're going to be getting uh, any Blu-ray, um, you know, I think we're going to have to go to, uh, digital distribution for any high definition re- uh, release. Uh, personally, I like to have the hard disks, um, you know, something physical to, to own, but, uh, um, based on the other Nick properties, um, I think we're going to have to go digital. We got a tweet from voice chasers. That's at voice chasers. Uh, they've had the opportunity to do a series of interviews with Townsend Coleman, of course, the original voice of Michelangelo from the 87 animated series. And uh, so we retweeted uh, the link out to those series of interviews. Once again, that's at Voice Chasers. Uh, we got a, another retweet from Mr. Yakko Pinky himself. Rob Paulson, after we retweeted or after we featured him on our uh, last episode, um, a lot of positive feedback from that episode. Uh, plus a hashtag follow Friday from Michelle over at the Cowabunga Corner. So uh, thanks for listening, Michelle. I should also mention um, uh, before we wrap it up here, uh, IEW's uh, Ultimate Collection Volume Five did just arrive uh, today, uh, the 27th of December. And uh, uh, this, of course, includes Mirage issues 56 through 62, closing up the original Mirage Volume 1 and the City at War storyline. So, uh, And I guess I should also mention, with IDW uh, issue 29 arriving uh, and the conclusion of the City Fall story, uh, look forward to our big IDW Comics episode coming soon. Guys, that's, uh, I think that's all we've got for uh, for this episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. So I think it's going to uh, close us up here. Um, so, I still got one strawberry Rita left. No, you can, you can drink it afterwards. That's okay. Uh, Guys, thanks so much for uh, for listening. Um, you know, if you can always check out our official website, turtlepowerpodcast.com. You can follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast. You can follow myself at Fig Don Pat. You can follow Alex at A Rodriguez 2005. You can follow Darby at Lobo DTP. Uh, no. and, oh, no. that's right. Darby has changed God, his. Such autopilot. His. Uh, no. Why do I Twitter. even agree to be on what here? What is your new Twitter handle? My new Twitter handle is now at Darby T. Patton. Because yeah. somebody out there already has at Darby Patton. 
some dude who wishes he had my name, wishes his name was as cool as mine, but it's not. Dick. Yeah, that's so, how you really feel. Yeah, I know. Seriously, I will. I'll, and, and, and the worst thing is, one, the dude's name is Darby. His middle name is Patton. His middle, his last name is like scoliosis or something like that. <laughs> like, seriously, it begins with SCH and then anything after that is scoliosis to me. He hasn't, he's got six followers, like seven tweets, and the, his last tweet was back in 2009. So he's not even using it. Yep. So that happened. But the main reason I had to I had to switch my Twitter handle up was because now I have three shows and intern at a fourth one. So which are which are um, well, I'm I'm interning at a at a Denver sports radio show called the Press Box, which airs every day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on a mile high radio. And I intern there two day, two days a week with Peter Burns, the host. Really cool guy. Really love going to the show and learning as much as I can about being on a radio show. Uh, another w- show I have is uh, a sports show that I'm doing with a classmate called Two Guys Sports Rewind. Uh, we're pretty much coming out of Studio O from the Colorado Media School. Uh, the link is absurd for me to even try to remember, so I won't even try to get you guys to remember it. But um, And then the other one, which I'm really having a lot of fun with, is called uh, Speed Force Radio. And it's basically me and this other guy in my class who's a huge comic book nerd pretty much geeking out about comics and what's going on. Similar to this show, only we talk about pretty much all things comics, what's going on in the comic world, uh, movies, news, TV, new comics. We – me and him called it – we called it Speed Force Radio because our favorite – both of our super favorite superhero is The Flash. And um, he likes Barry Allen. I like Wally West. But we both love The Flash. So we had to call it that, and uh, it's been pretty exciting the past week. Now that um, I don't know if you guys watch Arrow at all, or have heard of that show. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Well, The Flash is actually going to be on there for two episodes uh, oh. for their mid-season finale, and they've already greenlit a pilot for the guy to play the Flash in his own series. Very good. Have so you uh, Have you started happy. reading the New Fifty Two? Huh? Yeah, and. The whole thing about the new 52 that I love was that it was actually started because of Flash. Yep, exactly. So, yeah, Flash created the yeah. new 52 universe. And it's pretty freaking amazing. Let me just yeah, say. The, the Flashpoint Paradox, If you, you got to check out that movie. It's not on Netflix, but I found it for free online on other websites. The Flashpoint Paradox is probably one of my favorite comic book movies ever. Even if it's animated, I don't care. Like, it is that amazing. So definitely something you guys need to check out. But you can follow us at Speed Force Radio. That is our Twitter handle. We only have like three followers, and two of them are me and the other host. And I think the third one is uh, the Turtle Power Podcast. So (laughs) got to get some followers on there. We do that every Saturday. This is Mountain Time. We do noon to one, so two to three Eastern time. And uh, that's actually at GoMileHigh.com. That's the studio we broadcast out of. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. And, and, you know, it's sort of a rough draft for me coming into this show. So lots of fun. There you go. At Speed Force Radio. That's the one I really want to like. I mean, I love doing the sports show, but my co-host Jesse is doing most of the, the Twitter work with that one. So... <laughs> I'm pretty much the voiceover guy too for all the, the all, like all of our classes doing promos for their own radio shows, and everybody has me voicing over them because of the voice that I've been doing this entire time to kind of torment Alex. <laughs> <sighs> nice. It's fun. Um, at Speed Force Radio. At Speed Force Radio. Yeah. Uh, you can like us on our Facebook page. Uh, it's facebook.com slash turtle power podcast. Uh, we've, uh, done some, uh, maintenance on that site, so, uh, it's, uh, more up to date now, um, all of our Woo-hoo! Twitter connections with it are all hooked up, it's got our, our correct logo and everything, so, um, so that's looking a lot better, um, and then, uh, you can always share your feedback with us, uh, via old-fashioned email. Turtle Power Podcast at gmail dot com. Yeah, we've uh, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, activity on the Facebook page, so we appreciate all you uh, 
all you guys liking and commenting on our Facebook page. So Definitely. that activity nice. is, is yeah. a good thing. And, and um, just want, want real quick, want to just really quickly mention that we definitely do read everything that we get. Um, you know, we whether, whether we do get back to you or it takes us a few days to get back to you. Um, you know, as it, as you can tell, we're all really busy, but uh, um, we definitely read everything and appreciate uh, all the feedback we get. So um, thank you so much, and uh, we hope that you keep it up. We don't hope. So, we demand that you keep it up. We demand that you keep it up. So song of the show, gentlemen. What are we? What are we doing for oh, that? Oh wait, we uh, one last thing. Um, uh, you take too long. Subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Uh, Please definitely help with uh, spreading the word. Spreading the word on there, and uh, spread the word on on you know social media. Just tell you know, reach out to your friends. Just let them know uh, that you're uh, listening. Um, it's it's really simple, guys. Look, makes a big difference. you like us, you tell people about us. It, there's no shame to be a turtle fan. I have my Leonardo figure up on my desk, and just so happens my next door neighbor has a Donatello figure out, up on his desk. Boom! And it's not me, so that tells you something. And it's it's not Darby. Thank <laughs> God for that. Otherwise, there is another Donatello fan. All day. Okay. Otherwise, I would have committed career suicide by now. <laughs> You're listening to the Turtle Power podcast. <laughs> There are more Turtle fans. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) There are more Turtle fans that you realize, and uh, I promise you, um, just be proud of who you are. Don't make me go Batman voice on you. I'll do it. You you, you will go Batman voice, and it's very scary. You don't want that. So to to second that, um, I I was in uh, Jacksonville a couple weeks ago, and uh, a guy that I was working with that I had never met before. Uh, he just comes up to me and goes, yeah, so, uh, he just starts talking to me about turtles just randomly. And he's like, yeah, he, he, like he, he had no idea that, you know, I host the show or whatever. And do so you know who I am. I tried not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr- I had to, I was very careful about like, yeah, I do. In fact, uh, I actually host a show about, uh, the turtles and so. Yeah. Yep. Your first reaction is, yeah, I know. Gosh, move along. Okay. God. But uh, no, you don't want to do that. So we're, we're community, guys. We, we are a community and we appreciate everything y'all do. Um, community you know. of turtle power. Absolutely, man. So you are T L E. Anything you guys have to say, get to us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We try to get back to everybody as promptly as possible. So, yes, definitely. Um, okay, Alex, uh, would you like yep. to introduce the song of the show? Song of the show. Uh, sure. Um, all I have to do is uh, press this tell you exactly what it is. Right. Uh, it's Rocking Over the Beat by uh, Technotronic. And I figured since we were talking about the, uh, the wonderful uh, concept art with Samurai Leo that we would uh, touch base on the T, uh, the Turtles 3 uh, TMNT uh, concept. And uh, I can't believe it took us this long to get this as the song of the show, too, by the way. To even like the, like the second you played this song, I was like, I, and, oh, I was that. Yeah. I freaking love this song, man. Yeah. So, Rockin' Over the Beat by Technotronic. Uh, I believe Ryan has a remix for us as opposed to the original version, which is much I'll, better. I'll, yeah, I'll play the... Uh, well, did you say you had the... Um, you had the... Uh, you saw the music video for it? I have a music video for it. Yes, huh. I do. Um, now, we, we we can either, like, share the music video or if you want, we can, I don't know, whatever you want to do. On the yeah. website. Uh, we'll put a link to the music video in the show notes, but uh, we'll play the um, the remix version here uh, at the end of the show, so you can kind of compare Sweet. the two. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening for in up with to us as much as you have tonight. Episode yeah. twenty one of the Turtle Power Podcast <laughs> for Darby and Alex. Episode twenty one. Oh, yeah. Especially for kill Alex. Him. This is all Alex's fault. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man. Before you get into the sound, keep rolling.